Hi there, this is Jenny from LakeshoreStamping.com. Today I want to share with you this card and this little fun technique that I used in the background. And then I'll explain more of this card at the end. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take your our clear block H. And you're going to take three different colors of markers. I'm using Wisteria Wonder for the first one. I always like to use my, if I'm using more than one marker, my, my lightest marker first so that way I'm not mixing colors. But you're going to take the brush under the marker and you're going to color directly to the glass block. And you can take either one of the others, it doesn't matter. And color here, you'll be able to see this one better. It's a little darker ink than that Wisteria Wonder was. And then the perfect plum. Okay. I took a empty Stampin' Miss bottle and cleaned it out and filled it with just plain water. You're going to want to hold this far away because you want it wet enough, but you don't want it soaked and you don't want water spots. So I, I can't show you how to do this on the camera because I don't have enough room, but I'll show you the black before I stamp it onto my white paper. So hopefully you can see that. I really don't have any water spots, but it's nice and wet with just mist. And then you're going to press it down and hold it. You can see it all mixing colors there. And when you lift it up, you have a really neat little look here that works perfect for any card, any colors you can use. Um, I then cut it out with our Ovals Collection Framelit and sponged it with some crumb cake ink. Um, I layered it with our tea lace doily. The cross is from the Crosses of Hope stamp set, stamped in early espresso. And I have a little um, flower trim that I cut out and put it on with mini glue dots and our um, vanilla seam binding ribbon. Also, um, the Blessings is from the Take Care stamp set. Now, I did want to let you know that I did this on Whisper White. Um, I tried it on Crumb Cake because I'm a huge Crumb Cake fan, but it didn't want to spread out as well as it did on the white. So I just wanted to make sure you gave that tip. But I would suggest um, testing it out on some other pieces of cardstock and find the look that you like the best. Thanks so much for stopping by.